Hi, I'm Rob from SystemQ. And this is a Humblock ground loop isolator. It quickly and easily removes ground loop interference from your CCTV. The classic symptoms are the rolling humbar or a tearing picture. And sometimes you might see a small spark or feel a slight tingle when you're disconnecting cables from your equipment. In this video, we're going to use one of these to help fix both of these in just a few seconds. This is our how to fit CCTV tip on using ground loop isolators. I'm a support technician for CCTV equipment. I get calls about earth or ground loop interference every day. Ground loops occur when you have one or more earth or ground between two pieces of equipment. Electrical equipment is grounded through its power supply, like the mains input of a DVR or the power supply of a camera. Issues with ground loops are often caused by low quality power supplies, the voltage difference between connected power supplies or simply dodgy connections. CCTV cameras can also be grounded through their mounting fixtures, which can also contribute to ground loops being formed. Because the two pieces of equipment have multiple ground paths, with a difference between their ground potentials, loops are formed in which a current can flow. This current flows through the shield of coax cables and causes interference as it loops around, which plays havoc with sensitive inputs of DVRs, distributors and switches. The interference gets picked up at the receiving end of your cable as it enters the equipment and you get treated with a big old humbar rolling up and down your screen. They can look like this, or this. Ground loops are difficult to prevent, especially in bigger systems where different types of equipment take different types of power supplies. It's likely there'll be different ground potentials between your equipment. The best thing to do here is to use a device like the Humblock to terminate ground currents and block interference hum before it reaches your recorder. It's a small inline device with BNC connections to slot seamlessly into the end of your coax cable run. If you fit one of these between the camera and the video input of your CCTV equipment, like a DVR, the interference from that channel will be eliminated. Fitting the Humblock device at the DVR end of the cable is where it will have the greatest impact. In a multi-camera system connected to a single DVR, there is still a chance that ground loop interference can spring up on more than one video input. A hum block connected to one video input may reduce hum bars across the whole system, but unwanted currents flowing from other video inputs on the system can still cause issues. For the best results, I'd recommend connecting a hum block to every video input on the DVR system. That's it. You can minimize ground loops by using high quality CCTV power supplies such as the anti-hum range. And if the interference still occurs, you can use a device such as the hum block to terminate ground loop currents in a cable and stop interference hum in its tracks. I hope that's helped. I'm Rob from SystemQ and we'll be back with more how to fit CCTV tips.